first got in Sakahachi, I thought all I was gonna be doing was like building houses and in the heat, and thought it was gonna be really boring. And but when I went there, it was actually one of the greatest experiences I've had. And just glad I got to meet everybody I did, and glad I was there. And the main thing was getting closer to God, which was pretty great. I met a lot of people, and no one. Met, the best part there was that nobody judged anybody, and people opened up to people even that had differences. And um, just growing closer to God was my main thing, and everybody there to see me love God and being around everybody there was just great. And the uh, main message there was uh, to listen to God instead of trying to do things to please Him, which kind of hit me hard because I've been all life on my left trying to like, do things to please God and what I can do in the church to help Him, but instead of just listening, that was the main thing. And um, I got to know my homeowner very well, and she's had a pretty rough life with the uh, death of her husband, and she had two daughters she had to support by herself, and it was just great to help somebody out. And, I really needed the help. In the morning when I rise In the morning when I rise In the morning when I rise Give me Jesus Give me Jesus Jesus, give me Jesus, you can have all this world, give me Jesus. I had the privilege this summer of going to Summer Real Sakahachi, and this was my fifth year going, and I was able to work on a house, this is the third year and we were able to, to put new siding on, demolish the whole entire kitchen, and, and create it from new. And it's just, it was a good experience because Sakahachi is a place where you can go and make new friends and do what God's calling you to do and have fun at the same time. And it's, it's a mission trip that I recommend for everybody. It's a week that you definitely need to take out of your summer and try. Blessed so many ways God I might do it. I said, I know that I, I'll miss every one of you, and I, I don't know what I'll do when you get gone because I've got some new shoes this week that I'm just carried away. And my, my husband said, they said, I can come at that rent without my walking shoes. And when I Sakahashi for my fifth year and it was amazing as always. I always experience something different and new each year I go and this year the house I worked on, I was on site four, we had to redo her entire front and back porches and it was different work than I usually do but it was amazing and as usual I made new friendships and new relationships with the homeowners and it's just amazing to see what God does that week. Like. For example, our homeowner's son, he actually, and her niece, they both want to do Sagahatchee next year. And it's just amazing to see how it's kind of like the gift that keeps on giving. Like, they're going to continue doing what we showed them how to do. And it's just a really great experience. And my summer would not be the same without Sagahatchee. I plan vacations around it. Like, it's my ultimate week of the summer, and I would never change anything.
And when I come to die, oh, and when I come to die, and when I come to die, give me Jesus. tonight were probably the best part because there was a guy there that did very well and he only me close to the God. And you can have all this world. You can have all this world. But give me Jesus. Wow, where to begin about Sakahatchee? Um, I went to Somerville this year. This is my fifth year going, and it was incredible. Um, it's just an amazing uh, part of my life that I get to experience, the friendships that we make, the homeowners that we work with. I had the um, opportunity of working on three different sites this year, so we got to see three different families and spend some time with them. Um, I'm just very, very blessed that we, as a church, are a part of this wonderful, wonderful um, foundation that we can, can share and show God's love to the people that are, you know, don't have what we have. I, um, our lesson this year, or our theme this year, was on listening, listening to God, and it really brought home to me on how much we need to listen and how much we need to share God's love with everybody. And, Sakahatchee is wonderful. Everybody needs to go.